I'm here with Malcolm, Norris, and DeAndre. Now, Malcolm came into the house as a reformed player, but it kind of fell back into his old ways when he hooked up with both of you. From the point all three of you started doing whatever you did, we called it the love triangle, all right? Best described as it's complicated. Take a look at this. I see Malcolm and Norris having a conversation, and I'm like, I'm sorry. Is can, can, can I help you? Because he's with me, and when we're done, we'll let you know. Didi, you may think he's your man, but uh, little do you know he's going to be by now. Malcolm has done enough to show these girls that they should have nothing to do with him, but they keep coming back to Malcolm. Is that Malcolm's problem, or is that the girl's problem? I want you to be in my life. I, I want to leave out of here with a strong relationship with someone, and I can see that with you. Me and Norris both found love. You know, L-U-H, we found love. Malcolm and Norris, you two are off to the truth booth. Oh! When I was with Norris, I still had DeAndre in the back of my head. Now I'm moving on to DeAndre, and I still got Norris in the back of my head. And that's where I'm guilty again, having feelings for two girls. What y'all want from me right now? You told me that you guys have not hooked up, have not kissed, have not had sex. After a no match. No. OK, so Have we? in the bedroom, we didn't tell anyone, but we did. Honestly, bro, I didn't think we did. We, we definitely did. I'm just saying. But Maybe I'm sorry. I forgot that. Maybe she's right, probably. You lied. I'm so sorry for ever coming at you any type of way. Me and you have so much in common because we keep going after guys that are just like Thank you. I'm trying a law fence right there. <laughs> Now, Norris, why did you go after Malcolm after he'd already shown interest in DeAndre? You can't call dibs. We're there to get to know each other. I actually got to know all the guys. But once I had one real conversation with him, I felt like that was my match. Now, Malcolm, you said when you came into the house that you were trying to shed your player reputation. Yeah, man. When you watched the show back, do you feel like you accomplished any of that? I'm just watching the show, man, and I, and I just feel like a monster, honestly, bro. I feel like I really disrespected these women, and yeah. that's making me look bad, bro. I got my little sisters, my little brother, you know, my mom watching the show. And, you know, I really don't think that that is cool, honestly, buddy. How do you guys feel you're portrayed on the show? I look so stupid. So like, stupid. embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Like, you're better than that. There's, there's, there's no reason to fight over a man. There's billions of men in this world. There's we no reason to... We wouldn't even have to... drama. And throughout the whole show, if it wasn't for Malcolm. Bro! It was. Oh, that's true, Malcolm. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. But Nereese, come on, bro. No, you no, opened no, up the can of worms, bro, when you jumped in me and DeAndre's relationship. When I kissed you was, what, the third day in the house? There's no relationship there. I mean, we and had I did something, it. though. Either way, if you you should have respected it. I didn't get to respect <laughs> What? what? Mm -hmm. I didn't. So we both should have respected the relationship. You, no, no, you should have respected it. You, you were the one that was with her. What is going on? You were the one that was with her. <laughs> Because it's not like I was just sitting there being like, you know what, I'm gonna be for your ass. So you know how many times she wanted to sleep with me and I turned her down? And, no, but and I, I get, get that. Ed. How many times she would whisper in my ear when I'm when I'm with you? How she would whisper in my ear, oh, okay, when let I'm, me s*** your okay. let's go to the bathroom. First of all, let me do it take this. a pause right that. there. So you never because did you that. know, because so you, you know, never, time out, you know that when you were with her, Everybody looking at the bad in me, but what about all the all the times she you wanted to hook up with me when I was with the reason? I would say, no, let's not do that. No, 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 no. You do were this. literally we a no match. Dude, so, yes, I am a freaky girl. I'm going to go ahead and tell the guy, hey, I want to go ahead and. So, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, is that okay? <laughs> so, is that okay? It's playing the game. I'm allowed to go oh, ahead and okay. do that. Oh, so now we're playing the game when she can, so when, when she can say some <laughs> like that, that's okay. But if I would have said that to her, I'm a piece of <laughs> I'm a dog, but ladies always right. So. so, after all is said and done, if you could choose one of them now, if you can go back and, and choose <laughs> one of them oh. to be your girlfriend in real life now, the perfect match in life, who would it be? That's oh, right. Go know. choose her. <gasps> Nerese. Damn. Damn. That's fine. That's fine. And I'm not being a dick, but, man, too, what I'm me and Nerese had was real, real, man. And I had to move on. So when I moved on, I moved on with DeAndre because me and her was a confirmed no match. And that's where the love triangle started. Got it. Um, DeAndre, how do you feel hearing that? Um, that's fine. I find myself to be a queen. So it's just. Nutsa had said from the jump that Brett was your perfect match. Brett was apprehensive to commit to you. Was that hurtful, Nutsa? Absolutely. Especially watching it months later, it is so hurtful. Cause I'm, 
giving my self to somebody who absolutely could give a less about me in Wrong. real life. I just didn't like you the way you like me. I did not give no, about you actually, at all. last episode, Ask he was saying, mates. okay, let me talk. You're so rude. Um, rude? You're right, Nana over here. I just think he is fake as You say Brett's fake? You're the fakest one in here. Zach, shut the up. No, Zach doesn't have to. You, he flew you out to Texas and you fell in love with for a week. Speak on this no. Hated him because he didn't want to be with you. Nissa. You said you got no friends. We will speak on facts. You ain't got no friends because no one likes you. Zach, 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 you're going to come out. Nissa, not no, fake. No, she'll be damn good friends. No, no, no. I, he you asked you me what I said. I'm fucking mad. Yo, this is what I'm saying. You literally think that you are the most perfect person in the world. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, to every single one of you. Even Sam, she was so fing mean to me on the show. I try to see you that, let me talk. I try to see you that multiple times and I said, Sam, I just want to understand you. Why are you being like this? Zach, you don't know what the fing you're talking about. Your time will come and I will fing personally fing you. I fing you. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Speak. Go ahead. Be mad. All right, so Sam first. So, number one, Nuta's right. I didn't like her right off the jump. And I told her every day when she's like, Sam, why don't you want to be my friend? Sam, why don't you like me? I'm like, look, we're just not compatible friends. If you take that as me being mean, then I'm, I'm sorry that you're taking it that way, but I just I just don't want to be your friend. That's all it is. All right. I can honestly say Nuta's never done anything to me personally, but she says, I was so bullied in the house and people attack me and this and that. But then she goes on Twitter and tweets, the only thing faker than Morgan's wig is her own goddamn self. And I was like, that's me. A lot of people tweeted a lot of about Morgan, and I had no one said anything me. negative. No, 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 no. Can I just say something about that? Can I say yeah, something about fine. that? What gives you the right to go on social media and say that? I do apologize. You are right. It is. I do see where you're coming from. It's mean, and I'm very sorry about that. I found out Alex went to visit Brandon two weeks after the show finished um, filming, and apparently they had sex while she was there. I quit my job. I sold my car. Like. I did everything, and I we had the plane ticket for me to go. Alexandria, what's your perspective on this? I went to Vegas to go visit Brandon because my family lives there, and we let's hang out. Well, like we were, he, we were friends. friends then. We were totally legit friends. Legit yeah. friends then. So we started gambling, taking a hell, like a lot of shots, a lot of beers, whatever. We go back to the jacuzzi. we we bought more beer. We're drinking, drinking, drinking. We're sloshed at this point. We fall asleep in, in his bed. He comes over. He initiated with you. He came over, started making out with me. One thing led to another, and they weren't even together. How did you find out? Tell me that. Alex told Ellie. And I then, can't keep no GD secrets. Everybody in this <laughs> house knows that, so I don't know why anybody would tell me anything. So I took it upon myself on, to Brandon. tell Bree, and then we told Brandon, and he took care of it. I called Brandon and I asked him like what happened and he lied to me about it. Um, she also lied to me about it, which is crazy to me because like we were friends in that house. We were not friends. We were not, okay. Oh, you, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh my God, God. you were always up her ass. Oh, it's oh, me. No, you were my friend, bitch. Oh, you guys are not part of this, so oh, shut the up. But they are not part of this. Yeah. The guy who says he's supposedly crazy about you sleeps with your friend. The only reason that I'm so upset and that I'm ignoring you, I've ignored you this whole entire time, is because I was told that you were gonna come here without saying a word to Brandon or Christina and just all of a sudden bring it up and blindside her like that. So Alex, were you planning on coming to the to the reunion here and like just dropping this bomb? Is that is that That was true? not my plan. Dude, she's never been like that the entire show. She's never been that kind of person. I'm not a conversational she's person like, like that. that. No, I'm and not. Look, are you still getting from yeah. From people in the house? Oh, from... of course. I walk by them. They're like, ew. Like, like what? Like, I, I don't. I only have a problem with them, too, or with Christina. But everyone else doing it, it's like it's none of anyone else's business. Oh, my God. Just trying to be, like, neutral here. Why is Alexandria getting the focus of the blame? I don't feel like she deserves all the heat she's catching, because if anything, we've established that. Alexandria, you and Ellie were tight, right? I thought so. I apparently. Uh, oh my God! I the was in the day, middle of you, two of y'all. Y'all are like, back close to me. Don't tell anyone. I'm not gonna. F when you told me that that you were gonna come here and be like, well, f them, I'm gonna tell it all at GD reunion. I I had to tell Christina or someone had to.
because she's my bitch too. I'm not going to let her be embarrassed in front of everybody. Well, you are going to do it regardless though. Come on. No. Well, yeah, you yeah, guys. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so where does that put you guys now? I'm not gonna lie, like, my feelings changed a lot. Yeah, Brandon's always gonna mean something to me, and, like, there are feelings still there, but things are so much different than they were before. And, like, what's going to happen now, I don't know. Me and Brandon aren't together. Um, I don't see us being together anytime soon. I mean, maybe in the future, but, like, right now, I'm, like, I'm hurt by what he did. I don't trust him, and if I can't trust you, then there's no way we can have working relationship. All right, now Jada had her sights set on Clinton, but her friendship with Uche led her to take a back seat until the no match truth booth. And that's when things went off the rails. Jada, how close was your friendship with Uche early on in the show? Me and Uche were close as soon as we got in the house. You know, like, me and her, we legit sat outside and cried together. We were friends, like, and now that we're not friends, it kind of hurts, but I always cherish our friendship and I always put that first. I know it's not, are you my friend? But I have a big thing on loyalty, and I was loyal to her. So I was definitely her friend. And it kind of up because it's like now I'm being portrayed as something I'm not. And it is what it is. You knew how nervous I was to go in that truth booth. And like I, I said, I said it over and over again, I feel like all the guys really do think we're a match, but some of the girls in the house, you know, they want Clinton to be free. Like they want him to be freed up. And at that time, I really did feel like you were my good friend and you consoled me. You're like, don't worry about it. You got this. Like, yeah. it's fine. So for the night before- I was before... rooting for you and him to be a match. Okay, exactly. So but, listen, listen. So I'm not entitled to wait how I feel, okay? If I feel like y'all, he wasn't playing the game, that's me. So then why are you that's... telling him something else in my face then if you're my I friend? I didn't say anything different towards you. Jada. Uche. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it yeah. back and forth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, Clinton, did Jada ever have a chance with In you? the beginning, because I like chocolate girls, and she had a, a nice butt. That was okay physically. Then as we go on along in the house, and I figure out the type of person that she is, no, I was not interested. What type of person am I, Clinton? You talk that hot yeah. right? Yeah, because so, you're talking so about how do women I, the how, fuck. What? I think I'm going to just sit back and let you talk about Uche crazy? Listen, know your fucking place. Me, no, your place. That's what you did. You need your place. That's we're what you We're going to talk it out. Me and her, we are friends. We're going to talk it out regardless. This your friend? We were friends. How? We were. Okay, after, after, after I did that after bus interview, and we had a fucking problem. You, you, you texted me, and you said, said you texted and you me, and, me, and, me, and you called me a scary ass right. bitch. You took everything I said in the after bus interview all the way fucking wrong. You did this the first message to me. You blindsided me. I can't, man. You blindsided me. I had him texting. I had him texting. Can't have me do nothing. I want to understand. So you did an interview. Yes. And you said some words about them. I did an interview in regards to that episode. Okay. I was speaking in terms of that episode. Uche was the only one to really go up to him, and that's why I say he just stuck with her. Yeah. Pretty much. Cool. So he's, he's like right there with his drugs. Are you saying he's settling? I don't know if Girl. you guys. Girl. Like, I didn't know. <laughs> Uche and Clinton took what I said as in that's how I felt at that moment. As soon as I saw that message that Clinton sent me in that group chat, I called Uche. I didn't even respond to that shit. I called her. What did he say? He kept ignoring me. He said, yo, said, Jada, you are a real life lame, bruh. Um, you wouldn't have a storyline if it was for me and Uche, blah, blah, blah. Just Facts. all this female shit, right? Facts. So. Have y'all seen Jada speak unless it's about us? OK. I see. No. <laughs> OK, but have no, you had this? Would they have shown y'all if I wasn't yeah. there? Yes. Y'all are f***ing boring, my n***a. <laughs> I am people, people see, people see to love us. I took a nap. I took a nap. I took a nap. We all see what's going on. No, don't even touch me. I see to love us. I give you one. Like, y'all really making me mad. Cause like, you really hot. You look that hot on social media. You are a man. You are a man. You do not talk about a female or talk to a female the way you do. And for you to think that's okay, it's not okay. Jada, how do I talk, do I talk, I talk to her? There wasn't beef before you started feeding into the Twitter. We were fine after the show. Yeah. When I'm mad, I talk to people. Okay. Well, All right? Why is this happening? Jada talking about something, I talk about her crazy. I never called you out your name. I never called you a bitch, a hoe, none of that. I never called you none of that. How, how am I talking to you crazy? Because I'm defending Uche? Because I'm not about to sit here and let somebody I'm talk crazy about my girl. girl. So don't about? insert yourself in our problem. Let me what? and her handle that shit. Because why are you speaking about? of her? If Uche really had an issue, me and Uche could have talked it out. Because me and her had that relationship in the house. Is there a, a way that you two can hash this out? Or is now, is all your beef, Jada, and all your frustration, is most of that towards Clinton at this point? My whole thing is, I got hashed out with Uche. Me and Clinton, I will never have respect for him. Like, I'm just so done with him. Like, he's a beautiful person. He's a 
beautiful person outside, but inside he's like, he's just a fed up individual. That's not true. I don't want to deal with it. Like, I'm just over him. I'm over it. I'm over this whole situation. Like, can we just wrap this I'm up? Like, I'm dead ass done. Right. Right. Just out. Chill, 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 chill. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm rooting for them, actually, though. I'm rooting for them. Don't let it get there. Everybody can root for everybody else, but nobody roots for us. I root for you guys. Y'all lost the loyal person. I'm rooting for y'all. Bitch, please just stay loyal to each other. Girl code. Girl mother Where my son at? Girl code, what's good? Girl code. Girl code, what's good? Thank you. Thank you. Girl code, what's good? Hold on, hold on, guys. Guys, to the Twitter fingers, just, all of for, that. For everybody at home, I want to okay, understand I'm like, I'm what we're saying. So, so Eddie and Alicia, and we're gonna talk soon. But you guys are now together in, in real life, going yes. strong since the show. Yes. Yeah. And then you said that she was with Gio, and Gio's from a, another season. Yes. But. Is that what was said? And we all know it. And other people have done plenty of other things, but everybody loves to harp on us, but and it's a damn it. shame. Yeah, is... I never slipped my wrist and signed a blood contract with anybody in here and said sisterhood for life. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, when <laughs> hit the fan, it was just kind of like, what did I come here for? So unfortunately, I came here and I found what I needed to do, and that's that. You know what I mean? And even in this situation, because that <laughs> still put on me. You know what I mean? And it's just. If y'all had something going on there and like knowing our friendship, just be like, yo, Cam, like, I kind of like Eddie. That's girl code, something that you don't know nothing about. So oh what I'm God. saying, what I was saying, is just, just be real with me. Even, no, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. When we had that conversation, the only difference, like, today, I would at least have respect for you. I have zero for you. All right, because there's just some Yeah, because anything that you say you have all invalid we're, we're points, you were right. wrong. So, so... I was never in the wrong. You're not right. my how, tick. How so, are you so, not in the wrong? Yeah. Cam, Cam, what are you really we're gonna saying? we're gonna bring you and Eddie right, down okay. in just a few. Right now, we're 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 on the Alicia. You you feel like you're justified so in you're, that? Are you it was sorry? All good. Yes or no? We that's did what, what the f we did. She's not all right. Okay. Are you sorry? And that's yes that. No, so that's it. That's it. Else I'm not sorry because I'm still with him. I'm gonna continue to be with him, and that's that. Somebody bop her. 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 And that's that. I'm learning. She's over with. Like don't. This is the first time she ever cleaned up for her, by the way. I dare you to act today. I drag you all the way out at late. Cam, sit down. Cam, sit down. Back to the how you just said that. Sit down. Please sit down. Nobody's a punk. Sit down. I'm not hitting up. I'm not hitting up. I'm talking. You want it together. You want it together. So we can get up. I'm not leaving. Okay, but Gina, I'm not leaving. I'm right here. We know who would win, though. I wouldn't get nothing out of it, like Dre said. You get nowhere. You get nowhere, but I'm all about uplifting women. And you're going to come on here and talk about you're not sorry. You get the pot and you boil the water and you wait for other people to start. You're not sorry. All of you do that. You're not sorry. How do you sound? Just a second. Guys, relax. Relax. Cool down, guys. Now, so Ozzy, after all is said and done, how do you feel about each of these women now? Damn. You probably love I mean, her. Alicia and I remain friends love all of throughout them. the whole thing. And I, you know, I've been one of the few people that have backed her up. It's Catherine and I, you know, we kind of, we're, we're okay with each other. Um, and then Hannah, you know, it's, 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 it's over, you know? It's obviously dead. 